Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jaren Booth, and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video. And, um, no, it's a Friday, and Friday is my zombies days, though I really have been really... Well, this is my first zombies video because I've been really shit at keeping to my upload schedule, but schedule... Eh, I can't even say the word schedule, fucking hell. Um, I've been really crap at keeping to that. I try from now on, you know, to keep to it. So, you know, we're doing the giant and, like, we're one week away from the Awakening DLC release in, like, on Xbox. So, next Friday, we will be doing the Eisendrock. Because, well, I'm not doing Shadows of Evil because I fucking hate it that much. Well, I don't hate it. I just don't think it's that good. That's a better way of saying it. Um, no, but we're back and we're playing some zombies. And if you saw my earlier video, you would have seen me do some multiplayer. Um, the only reason why I decided to upload a multiplayer video on my zombies day is because I wanted to. Um, yeah, a legitimate reason is the fact that I wanted to. Anyway, um, I don't know how long this is gonna last. Uh, I haven't really played a lot of zombies. Like, I think I'm only level 16. Which, if this was like maybe like Black Ops 1 or. Yeah, Black Ops 1. If this was Black Ops 1, then this would be a lot different. Then again, I didn't play a lot of zombies when like Black Ops 2 was first out, because I didn't like transit. Like, I think I played Town the most. I didn't get um, Nuke Town until very late on. Wait, where the. F I didn't look where the box was. I I'm going the right way. Yes. Oh, no, please, bollocks, it's up there. No. I don't actually want to go up there and get the box. That's 3 fifth. Uh, I'm going to have to have to... Uh, the... I just don't speak. Uh, I'm going to have to go get the... Ooh, should I get the KRM? Or should I just try knife around for a few rounds and um, get the VMP? Because I prefer the VMP. It's a good weapon. I think this is the map I played the most, and I haven't played it a lot. I may actually, when this you know when this game ends, I may actually have a look at my zombie stats because I know it's not that good. That's you know that's actually kind of needed this. God, I know know how much I needed this. I wanted to do it like yesterday. I was planning to do a W, which I'm quite glad I didn't because I would never have got that like Shiva gameplay if I had. But, um, I'm just having real problems installing it, like, it just won't install. There's a problem with the disc or something, I am may go have it looked at or something. Could be laser burnt, that could be a very good possibility. Hopefully it isn't. I don't know, it, it, it was, it's been like that for a while. I don't know. Like, I remember trying to install it back, because it's... And, um, we were trying to install it on my, uh, on his Xbox, and we couldn't, and we were just having loads of problems. I'm trying to think, am I on, like, no, I'm not on offline. God, I'm trying to think, am I on offline? No, this isn't Red Hex, this is Transgression Camo. God. Being a bit stupid. Um, let's... I'm open Quick Revives around. No, you're a mule kick. Uh, not turning on the power yet. I want to hit the box a few times. Actually, should we get perks or should we? Yeah, let's get some perks because I feel like we can survive a while with the BMP just on its own. Um, what the hell's the problem with sliding? Give me a sec. You seem to slide a lot less on zombies than you do on um, multiplayer. Never really noticed that, but then again, I don't play a lot of zombies, so that might be why I haven't noticed it. What perks are? Okay, not finding any perks I actually need. That means. Quick Revive and Jug are either there and there. Uh, please make sure Jug isn't... Uh, I kind of prefer Quick Revive not being there. Because I need that, like, now. Ooh. Four points, that's nice. I can't wait for the... Friggin' out, what's wrong with my accuracy? Uh, I can't wait for... If I can remember what I was going to say. I can't wait for... Um... What is it? Oh yeah, I couldn't really think. 
then. Uh, Black Ops 1 to come back on backwards capability. Shit, it is. What, the quick revive is behind the door, and I can't be bothered buying the door, so I'm just going to buy Jug. Which, you uh, know, works well enough, I guess. Um... Because that way I'm going to be able to bring over my other zombies maps and that way I can play things like Call of the Dead because I'm Kino on, you know, the Xbox One instead of the 360, so it's no frame rate issues, I guess. Actually, I need to rebuy Black Ops One. Mine's a bit damaged. Then again, it, I have had it since 2011 and when, no when I was younger, I like, had, like I could not look after things, like especially discs. I was really fucking dreadful at it. I mean, literally, you look at some of my PlayStation 2 games, they're an absolute wreck. I've had to rebuy quite a few of them. To be fair, I've broken a few PlayStation 2s as well, so... That kind of goes with it. Where's this final zombie? Oh. Actually, plural, where are these final zombies? Uh, should be about one left, I guess. Let's rebuild a barrier. Kind of want to get some ammo. Where I like the transgression camo, I might stop using the, um, what's it called, dark matter, and start using different sets of camos. I don't know, it just kind of looks nice. I think, I don't think I'm going to use, like, dark matter on things like my locust, because I've got, like, the ice camo on the locust, and it looks really nice. I don't know. I could do. We'll just have to see. Really don't like how the laser sight looks on this. It looks... What's the... Um, I'm looking for a word to describe this. Unrealistic. That's what we're going to go with. I mean, seriously. Laser sights in real life don't kind of look like... They work like that. They definitely don't disappear when you look into a side. Ooh, death machine. I forgot they brought this back. I mean, nothing's as good as maybe the Black Ops, you know, one death machine. I mean, that thing was just insane. Um, especially on multiplayer. Like, Black Ops 1, like, death machine on multiplayer was, like, the bomb sort of streak, you know. You could just get kill after kill after kill with that thing. It's really bad for Black Ops 2, and it just wasn't as good. I mean, like on Black Ops 1, you weren't. If someone had a death machine, the odds are they were gonna murder you. But unlike Black Ops 2, you could easily just kill someone who had a death machine. It's like. A few bullets bang and they're fucking dead. Okay. Quick revive. There we go. I'm trying to think of the person kind of the same place they were on, like, Black Ops. Jug's in the same place. Quick revive's in the same place. Speed Cola was there, so no. You were there. And Mule Kick was where Speed Cola was. So two of them are, and the rest of them aren't. I don't want to... I'm going to try and avoid, you know, like, camping up there for the gameplay, because I think that's a very tedious and annoying sort of thing to watch. Like, if you watch someone just camp there for, like, the whole game... I don't know, I, I guess I'd find it quite boring. It's quite boring to play, to be fair. It's kind of one of the reasons why I don't play this map a lot, because most people just camp up there. Like, I like to camp down here and just run around. And, you know, if I die, I die. I'm more likely to die down here, because, you know, I can get killed from about four different directions. At least it's, you know, it's not camping up on a balcony and just farming kills. Uh, should we? You know, I'm actually going to go hit the box. Please tell me I didn't in the round. Nah, I didn't, it's fine. I'm gonna pick up some ammo for this, even though I'm gonna buy another gun. Might as well. Is it? I don't think it's double weapon XP this weekend. I know it's double XP. Money. Of course. <laughs> Bollocks. Of course I don't have enough points. Damn it. It's like... Like I thought I did. But then again, I opened a door. For ammo. Friggin' hell. I am out of ammo. Ooh, Dracon. Connor's asking me to play. Uh, I'll join in a minute. Just not right now. 
not while we're doing the video. I was going to do it with him, but it was the fact that he, I didn't know he was on, and I kind of wanted to do it quite well ASAP. So after I've done this, I'm going to start doing my... I'm going to go back to Black uh, the multiplayer, and I'm going to try by the end of the weekend, because it's double experience, to get to Prestige Master. There we go. No, we're going to keep the Dracon, I don't mind. It's got the ELO site. We'll get the VMP, so that's fine. I might back a bunch of this. I kind of like snipers on zombies. Um, like, I think I once... I was playing with my cousin once, and... Um, we were playing Nuketown, the zombies map, on Black Ops 2. And I just played the whole game with a DSR. Uh, like, repeatedly. I can't even join that party anyway, I'm on Skype. So, that just wouldn't work. The Oak's like lying on the old gap though and my what and my laptop, which is quite nice. Thanks, dog. It's like I've given up. The only problem is it's just turn nine. It's not exactly late. Like ten. But at least when he's lying down and he's quiet. You'd have, you wouldn't be uh, you'd be surprised how many recordings I actually have to stop, physically have to end, because he's barking. Like, JD hears a sudden noise. It's like, someone could close their door, car door, from across the street, and he'd react. Bit of a nuisance, like, that. it really is. Because you, and you, because I won't hear it. I've got my headset on, and I'm, you know, I'll be playing, you know, chilling, doing my Black Ops 3. And all I hear is, pretty much for a, and it, it's not exactly quiet. It's really loud. But it's the fact that he does it so suddenly and also, it makes me jump. I'm not expecting it, I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I'm getting some kills, and all and all of a second I actually literally shit myself because he just, like, wants to go barking mad. I swear to God, it's, it, one of these days, he's gonna actually give me a heart attack when he does it. Oh, box. There we go. Oh. I thought I didn't get that, then. I was thinking, how the hell did I miss that double point? I didn't. I got it. What gun does this remind me of? Reminds me of a gun on a different game, but I can't remember the gun. Let's see if I can remember. It's this, you know, with the sort of reloading speed, and it, with this side, not like it's normal side, because that thing's fucking dreadful. Um, it is. Yeah, uh, I had such fun times with this thing, trying to do it, uh, trying to get it gold on multiplayer. Like, I haven't had a kill with this thing on core. I couldn't think of the word core then. It really just wanted to come to me. Um, no, but it's like I had to do like all the headshots for this. It's not even hedge, is it? No, it's not even headshots. It's one-shot kills on hardcore. I did everything for on hardcore because it's it's like people rapid fire FMJ. on it. I'm trying to think of a third attachment because I usually run three attachments, I can't. Maybe thermal or this or the ELO site. You can pretty much just run and gun. It's you know it's actually that good. Just going for headshots. I really can't wait to play Dragon Dragon because, like, it, what, it dropped about. You know, it dropped a, like a month ago now, and I haven't been able to play it. Like, I've been so used to, you know. I guess you can't take advantage of getting DLC early when you're so used to having it. And, you know, it's the first year I haven't been able to, you know, like, have the zombies maps early. Which has been really annoying. Especially when I bought the season pass so early on. Oh, save all. Um. Yeah, we'll leave that for a few minutes. Let's get some kills. Get the kills, lads. Um, thinking about replacing. I might get rid of this VMP. Need to go get speed cola. Second. Yeah, let's go get speed cola. It was. I think it was round seven. We had dogs, so we've got a few more rounds for. Um, we get a max ammo, definitively.
possibly. I can't be sure, but I think the active ingredient brought your mind. Wait, what was I saying? I love Richtofen. He just, he just speaks like utter crap. I've just realized something, and I forgot to do this like for a bunch of my videos. Like, my game volume seems to be very loud. I've been, I've been meaning to like turn it down. But I've been forgetting, and I've, just, I've literally just took that second when the zombies weren't spawning to turn it down a little bit. I might turn it down even more. It still seems to be blaring. You know, there we go. I don't know what it's like now. Hopefully it's alright. It's, it still seems to be like max bar, which is, it just shouldn't be. I think it's the fact that I've got my game audio like on 10 in-game. I play with a headset, so it's not actually that bad. My god, I'm running out of ammo in this thing like so quickly because the rapid fire. It's funny, it doesn't matter what map I'm playing, most of the time I will run the same four perks. Like on solo, it'll be these four perks, unless I'm playing something like Mob of the Dead, where, you know, it doesn't exist. Alright, uh, let's go get a new gun. Hopefully we can get there without dying. Like, I'll run these four perks, there may be a slight change, like I may not run, maybe, do if I'm playing like multiplayer, it won't be like, quick revive, it'll be... Stamina up, or PhD, or something. Like, maybe, uh, maybe I don't have double tap and or quick revive. This is a good gun. I like this. So many people said they don't like on multiplayer. It's actually, it was, out this year, Brecci and the Haymaker, I preferred the Haymaker. Like, it was so easy. If you just, like, especially if you're doing headshots, you know, you could just slap a laser sight on this thing and it just go. I mean, you just get headshot after headshot. You just literally have to look like that. Like, start you like that, just go up and get, play Nuketown a lot, and that's how I got a lot of my headshots, like, I was getting, like, 30, 20 to 30 headshots per game, because I was just, you know, playing Nuketown at such close quarters. Like, I had nightmare time trying to do, uh, LMGs, they were just bitchy as fuck. I, for some reason, I just couldn't do them. No matter how hard I tried. It took me a while. I mean, it actually got me... I actually got to the point with them... Ooh, okay, this is what we wanted. So they're coming actually every four rounds, because I'm pretty sure, like I said, we did it around f l seven, and it's only around 11. I know dogs are... Eyes and rock. They're pretty much like, you know, how many boss battles can we put in one map? Like, let's bring back the Panzer and these. As long as it didn't, back, didn't, back, it didn't bring back the Denzins, I'm fine. I fucking hate it. I fucking hated this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Two. Let's get one from the dogs. And then let's just... There we go. I'm actually just going to leave that. Uh, I need to keep doing the mainframe. So I'm actually going to do that now. Like, I'm not probably going to use it for a while. Because there's no need. Ooh, how quickly am I going to be able to run through this Weaver ammo? Hopefully, hopefully I'm not going to burn through it like every five seconds, because that'd be really fucking annoying. Oh, three! I remember this one time um, on Transit, when I actually played Transit, and I did a, you know, I did a boss challenge where you've got to kind of kill on the boss and do all that sort of stuff. Or was it? It might not have been a boss challenge. I think it was. I couldn't. I could be wrong. And basically, we got like four drops in the space of like five zombies. It's insane. But they were all different ones. So I think one was a max ammo. So max ammo. One was a carpenter. One was a nuke, and one was a double points. So. So it was literally everything we needed. The problem was it was off like the bus, so you actually had to get off the bus to do it. I don't know. It was just like, it was the first time I'd seen that many drops. And I really don't like how the death machine looks on this game. I mean, I'm so used to seeing a death machine being like a portable minigun. 
like, you know, with the... Uh, like, pretty much the death machine, like, the minigun you see from, like, Team Fortress 2, the guy, like, the heavy carrying that, you know. That's the sort of, you know, death machine I'm used to seeing. Right. Right, if I don't get this mainframe, I'm going to be really fucking annoyed. And the answer is, how quick can I burn through this ammo? Pretty quickly. Ooh, yes. Really? I'm not arguing, but that's... Let's leave it a few seconds and we'll get that in a second. And we'll get you. Dogs like now, I'm going to move. That spot's becoming really uncomfortable. I'm going to get you. There's not, they give this. They give you like 900 ammo. I'd like to see someone actually use all 900 of it. And I don't mean like waste it. I mean, it's all 900 ammo. Uh, we can pack a punch now. And we are running out of ammo. Mm, I don't know. We'll, we'll leave it a few more rounds. Let's go back to the spot and start draining. Ooh, gobble gum. Let's get some of this. What did we get? Danger closest, I think that was. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Danger Close. That was a perk on a game. I can't... On one of the god games. I really can't remember. Maybe in Black Ops 2. Could be... In, could actually even be this game. I just don't know. We got up two levels in this one game. That's nice. Okay. Get in that and do not want to die. Uh, yeah, let's go pack a bunch of this. Dogs like I have laminate flooring, like wood laminate. Yeah, what laminate wood? Wood laminate? Really? The English of that. Um, and so when, like, because when he's paused touch it, he makes, like, the world's loudest sound you'll ever hear. I'm surprised when I'm speaking, you know, you, you could potentially hear it in the background. It, it is quite loud, especially if he starts walking next to me. Okay, there we go. There we go. Well, round 15. Uh... Should we pack a punch this? Actually, I'm going to repack a punch this first. I can still pack a punch, but... Turned. Ooh, yes, perfect. I'm actually going to make sure I have enough points so I can pack a punch it and then pack a punch it again. So I can get, you know, an ability. I kind of like how they took that idea from, like, AW's zombies. The ability to repack a punch. Oh no, actually no, they... I could be wrong, they may have had it. I don't know. Did they... I think they had it on Black Ops 2. Oh yeah, they did, because when you used to be able to pack a punch, but it wasn't like that. It's kind of the same price. It's the same amount of money. It's still 250 points, but it does a lot different. Like, on this game, it gives you, like, a different ability. you gun. On that game, it gave you a different sight. Yeah, it didn't even give you more ammo, just a different side. Then the target finder had to be my least favourite sight on zombies. I wasn't a fan of it on bloody multiplayer, to be fair. It kind of annoyed me. I literally, people would sit behind head glitches with an LSA target finder. Fucking absolutely annoying as hell. Cause I, like, I'm not the world's biggest fan of LMGs. Being an SMG user, as, as you may know. Speaking of that, can we can we have people stop complaining about like the Weevil needs a buff? I don't think it does. I think it's good enough without it. I think the fact that it's got a large magazine makes it pretty good. I think I think if you're gonna have a large magazine but really bad damage, I think you need to buff like okay, you need to buff not in the damage department, I guess, I in the accuracy department. It, at some ranges it can still be quite inaccurate. I've seen it gone. Actually, it's not showing in this. They may have actually. 
help the accuracy. I don't use it a lot, and it seems very accurate. Like, it seems like no recoil on it whatsoever. I was just looking at me, I swear to God he's trying to get something off my table, he's like, what did, what did I do? I don't know. I haven't had a game of zombies that I've enjoyed in such a long time like this. I'm, I need to go back, I'm, hope, I'm not really playing my like, Black Ops 1 zombies until um, it comes out next gen. Well, what I mean by that is basically it comes backwards capable, uh, capable on the Xbox One. Then I'm going to be able to play things like Ascension, Moon, Shangri-La, and Call of the Dead. Actually, pretty much even the COD 5 maps as well, so pretty much every map. It's like, I find it funny how Black Ops 1's coming back to back on backwards capability because I think the top rated game that people wanted for capability was like Black Ops 2. And they're like, yeah, no, we'll give you Black Ops 1, right? Let Treyarch take in the first. And I shouldn't have done that. That was fucking retarded of me. I don't know which one I want to rather go for. Uh, let's do a cycle round, I guess. Can I get them all? Never mind. I'm dead. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. For some reason, I could not buy that perk then. They was like, nope, you're not getting that. Shit, shit, shit. Why you need stamina up? Demonstrated in this video. Like, I couldn't sprint at all. Uh, I think I'm at the end of the round, so I should be alright. Should be able to get all my perks. Seriously, what are you doing? My dog's just, like, trying to get some paper off the table. It's like, would you not... There we go. I think it's the first time we've down. Let's have a look. Yeah, one down. One revive. I don't I don't think on single player, like I remember on like I think it was Black Ops 1, they didn't have like a down counter for the for single player. But they also didn't have a revive counter. And I don't see what's the point of having a revive counter on like on this game, on like single player, because you're not reviving anyone. I mean, it's easily, it, you could easily enough, you know, make a separate counter. My turn zombie has just flailed itself to death. That's nice. I keep killing the heads off every other turn zombie I'm, I'm getting. I may, I know I said I wouldn't do it, but I may go there, because I'm using a sniper, so I think, I think that's kind of justified why I might go up there. I know someone's behind me. I mean, this turn zombie's doing fuck all for me. Oh my god, I'm just dying. I need to stop using the sniper. This is a really bad name for a gun. Death and taxes. Right, yeah, I'm going to stop using this. Thank you. I'm not even going to get a chance. I'm going to die. I am. I'm dead. Fucking hell, that was dreadful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Um, I've been Yai and Booth or Atomics, and this has been another Black Ops 3 uh, Zombies video. I'll see you in the next one.